Guten Tag alle, heute wollte ich nur kurz mit euch ein bisschen mehr über die Fehler sprechen. Nominativ und Akkusativ. Wir werden mit Nominativ beginnen. We will start with the nominative case in German and being able to recognize it. Wann ist ein Wort Nominativ? When is a word nominative case? When it is the subject of a sentence? Or the noun appears after a conjugation of the verb sein. This could be bin, bist, is, sind, seit, war, warst, wart, oder waren. Or a conjugation of the verb werden. Again, this could be the present tense conjugations. Werde, wirst, wird, werden, werdet. Or even the past tense conjugations. Wurde, wurden, wurdest, und wurdet, to name them. Accusative. So, wenn ist, etwa, wann ist etwas accusative? When is something accusative? Uh, number one, it's a direct object of a sentence. Remember, the direct object is what receives the action of a verb. Um, or, it comes after certain prepositions in German. These prepositions are durch, für, gegen, ohne, um, entlang, und bis. Entlang is a little different from the others because it appears normally after the noun. And for more information over that, you should see the video on accusative case prepositions. So, nominativ und accusativ. Remember, in the accusative case, the definite article changes for only masculine nouns. Uh, you remember uh, definite articles in the nominativ or nominative are der, die, and das. Every German noun has a gender, masculine, feminine, or neuter. And when a word is plural in German, it is always die. So, when something becomes a direct object or when it's uh, comes after an accusative preposition, it's going to change to accusative. And the only real thing to make note of there is for the definite articles, only masculine, masculine nouns will change. They will change from der to den. Or as I like to say, der changes to den, die und das stay the same. Okay, so in the accusative case, the indefinite article also changes for masculine nouns or you may think of them also as der words. So again, the nominative for masculine nouns, it's ein. Feminine nouns is eine. And for das, it's ein. This is the indefinite article. In the accus accusative, or accusative, uh, these masculine nouns will change to einen. And die and das will stay the same from the nominative. And that is, they will remain eine und ein. The personal pronouns also change as well between the nominative and the accusative. Um, nominative or subject pronouns, as they are sometimes called. Ich, du, er, sie, es, wir, ihr, sie, und sie. And when they become direct objects, for example, ich sehe dich, du siehst mich, ihn für him, sie for her. And for it, you can use, if a word is a masculine noun, you can use ihn to refer to it. Or if it's a feminine noun, you can re refer to it with z, or as s, if you want to be general. Uns, us, euch, y'all, or as we say in southern United States, y'all, and z und z. Okay, so we try a few exercises. Uh, what would go in the blank? Was würde in die Lehrstelle gehen? So, der Mann ist zu alt. Mann ist uh, Subjekt, it's a subject, so it's nominativ. Liebst du mich? Er wird Fußball spielen. Ich habe einen Hund. Hund is the direct object, it's masculine. So, if we're going to use the indefinite article, it's einen. Das ist der Hund. This is a predicate nominative. Kannst du mich hören? Uh, du hast mich. Ich kann sie sehen und er kennt uns. So, ich hoffe, dass das ein bisschen klar gemacht hat. I hope that made it everything a little bit clearer with regards to those two cases. Danke und auf Wiedersehen.